Okay, here is a question today, 8 to the x plus 2 to the x equal to 68. And we need to find our x from this interesting exponential equation. How can we do this? There are a lot of approaches, maybe someone take log on both sides. I, I want to show you a really interesting and really easy one approach, how can we solve it? First of all, we have 8 and 2. This is really good numbers, these are really good numbers, because 8 and 2, we can write this 8 as 2 cube, and it will be the same base, so as a first step, yeah? So we have 8 can be written as 2 cube, and this 2, let's write the same, and right here 68. So this is our first step, let's start with this one, but we still have, instead of 8 we have 2 cube, but we have x as a power plus 2 to the x, so we have this, we have this expression right here, but right now we have maybe the same base right here, okay. What we're going to do is next, we need to know a really good rule of interchange right here. So if we have a to the power b raised to the power x, it can be written as a to the power x raised to the power b. You ask me why? Of course, because a equal to a, uh, this is equal to a to the power x times b. Because this is a product, so we can swap these two elements right here, and moreover in this case, and in this case, yeah? So we can swap these, these powers which is really important and really great. And let's apply this rule right here, so 2 cube to the power x can be written as 2 to the power x, of course to the power 3 and plus 2 to the x equal to 68, okay? So we have this expression right now. I hope you understand this step. Two really important steps. 8 can be written as 2 cube first step and second step, this is really important rule. And right now I hope you understand this explanation, uh, this equation, because this is like a cube equation, but it was one really interesting moment if you bring, if you write the substitution, so 2 to the x, for example, equal to, for example, let's go t, so this expression and this one are the same, so we can write it as t cube plus t equal to 68, okay? Then this is our cube equation, instead of this 2 to the x, we, we wrote this t, so we have this cube equation. And we need to bring this 68 on the, to the left hand side, so we will have like t cube plus t minus 68 equal to, equal to 0. So this is our, our cube equation, there are a lot of approaches, how can we solve this cube equation? Of course this is up to you, you can solve it in your own way, but I'll show you a really important interesting moment with the factors. So let's let's solve it with the factors. With the main obvious one, we don't prove every of this factor, but let's go for example with the positive one at first. So let's go with the 1, 2, 3, for example 4, 3 is not deal with the factor, so 1, 2, 4, and we'll have like maybe 34 is the next one, and 68, yeah? So let's start with the positive one, so 3 we reject, this is not a factor. So let's go with the 1. So so yeah, yeah, 1 cube plus 1 minus 68, of course this is not equal to 0, so we reject this factor. Let's go with 2, let's go with 2, 8 plus 2 minus 68, right now this is not a factor. What about 4? 4 cube, 64 plus 4, 68, oh this is really interesting, this is really great. So t is a factor, so t first equal to 4 is a factor which is really great. But right now we need to find another parenthesis because this question looks like that. So we find one factor right here, so t minus 4, t minus 4, this is a factor, but what about the second parenthesis? Because we need to find the second parenthesis equal to 0, so we need to factor all the question right here. But for this, for this answer I rewrite this question, so t cubed plus t minus 68, and I wanted to rewrite this expression a little bit, I hope you understand this. So I write this, take a look, I write, I write this as t cubed, t cube minus 4 t square, because we don't have t square right here, as you can see we have cube and the first power, I write it as minus 4 t square and plus 4 t square. Then I write minus 16 t plus 17 t, okay, 17 t, and minus 68, and take a look closely, I write it with, with the red pen, I just want you to understand. So minus 4 t square plus 4 t square equal to 0, so nothing changed for us, yeah? minus 16t plus 17t, this is equal to t. So as you can see, this is the same expression as right here. So t cube, we don't have square, we have plus t and minus 68, so this is the same. But if we regroup this element a little bit, if we regroup this in another way, so take a look, if we group first two elements, then, then third, fourth, and fifth and sixth element. So what we have as a result, we will have like t cube minus 4t square as a group, yeah, then plus 4t square minus 16t as a group and plus 17t minus 68, okay? Equal to, equal to zero, okay? Okay. 
Right now, t cubed for t square, what we can factor from this question, from this expression? Of course, t square, if we factor it in parentheses, t minus 4. Next one, 40 square, 16t, it looks like we can factor 40. If we factor 40, we will have like t minus 4, which is really great. Then 17 and in parentheses t minus 4. And finally, if we look closely, we will have like t minus 4, t minus 4, and t minus 4. Of course, this is my approach. Of course, this is up to you. You can solve it in your own way. There are a lot of formulas with this cube equation. This is my approach. I want to show you. I want to show you this approach. So right now, let's factor this finally. So t minus 4 and in parentheses from here, t square plus 4t and plus 17 equal to 0. Okay, we factor it, which is which is really great. Right now, let's start with this with this quadratic equation at first. So we have t square plus 4t and plus 17 equal to equal to 0. Okay, okay. Quadratic equation real quick. Oh, let's find discriminant real quick. If you find discriminant, this is equal to 4 square. So 16 minus 4 times 1 times 17. It looks like minus 42, which is not good for us because we can find uh, a real number root. But if we express this as i times square root 52 in a complex number, so this minus as i square and we bring this behind this square. So as a result, we will have like the next one. Oh, let's uh, rewrite this 52 as 4 times 13. So we will have like i square root 4 times 13 or 2i square root of 13. This is our discriminant and let's plug in this discriminant and we will have our, our t, yeah? So our t it will be like t second and t third because t first is if this one. So t second and t third, this is equal to minus b. So minus four plus minus two i square root of 13 and all over, all over two. Or if we divided it by parts, we will have like minus two plus minus i square root of 13. Which signals out that right here we will have of course, complex roots, we know it before. And moreover, if we plug into, if we go back to our substitution, so two to the x equal to t, but t equal to this expression. So we will have two to the x equal to minus two plus minus i square root of 13. So this is our equation. We need to find it. We need to find our x, maybe with log. So step by step, you can easily solve it and you will have like two, two, complex, two complex roots right here. If you're talking about complex number, you can easily solve it. So right here we can easily say that we have two complex complex truths because we have i. So for sure, 100% it will be complex number. Let's go back. We need to find real number as well. So t minus 4 equal to 0. t equal to 4. Let's go to our substitution. 2 to the x equal to t. So 2 to the x equal to 4. And from here, of course, x equal to 2. This is a classic equation. Let's let's solve it. Let's check this uh, question real quick. So we have our answer. I write. Uh, let's check it and then I write our answer. Okay, eight to the x plus two to the x equal to sixty-eight. I rewrite this question. So eight to the x plus two to the x equal to sixty-eight. Let's check our x equal to two because we solved it before. X equal to two. Okay, eight square plus two square equal to sixty-eight. We had it before, I guess, right here when we check the factors right here. So our two is a good because 64 plus four equal to 68, which is which is correct. So let's write our answer right here. So our answer, we have like x equal to two. This is our real number root. And we have this expression with the complex number. So we have like two, two complex roots, two complex roots. And if someone want to solve it, we have this question. So two to the x, equal to minus 2 plus minus i square root of 13. So this complex root hides right here. Okay. Okay. One real number root and two complex complex solution. Maybe with log. Yeah, it's with log we can solve it. Log and step by step we can find our x. It will be this expression with log divided by log 2 because we find log on both sides. So this is our answer to this interesting, interesting problem. Okay, okay. Definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. If you need to 
learn interesting uh, algebra problems. If you want to prepare to exams, I have a lot of maybe more than 200 videos with interesting algebra problem, all different one. You can easily solve it whatever you want. Lambert W function, exponential equation, like Olympia tricky problem, a CTMS question. So I hope you, you will enjoy this content. Definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. Okay, thank you for your watching. Thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. If you want to support me, please leave a like, write any comment. I really appreciate it. See you in the next videos.